वेलकम एंड इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पर्टिकुलरली अबाउट द प्रामावेरा पी सिक्स वाई डू वी मेनली यूज द प्रामावेरा पी सिक्स एंड वट आर द मेन प्रोजेक्ट एरियाज और सिंपली वी कैन से द फंक्शन दैट कैन बी मैनेज यूजिंग द ऑरिकल प्रामावेरा पी सिक्स विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक आर्किटेक्चर एंड ऑल्सो वी विल डिस्क्राइब अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट लाइफ साइकिल एंड रिलेटेड फेसिस ब्रीफली now if we look at the name the full name of the oracle primavera p6 is oracle primavera p6 enterprise project portfolio management quite long <laughs> but in fact the name it reflects the scope and purpose of the software now the p6 is designed to facilitate multiple users across a large organization that means the oracle primavera p6 it is very scalable and it can support hundreds of users working on the thousands of projects and along with the millions of project activities that means Oracle Primavera P6 is very comprehensive project management system. Now, if you remember from our previous discussion, a project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create the unique product, service, or result. And a program is a group of related projects that are managed centrally. Also, please remember the definition of the portfolio that we have discussed in our previous lesson. that portfolio is a group of related projects programs and sub portfolios that are managed centrally so please note that by using the oracle primavera p6 we can manage and control large number of projects in an organization so the project portfolio management or ppm it help us to understand the project status monitor and control our projects in the organization regardless of the size or the number of projects i'm sure you remember from our previous discussion that the portfolio normally consists of projects and the programs so the portfolio management is simply the centralized management of these projects as well as the programs in the organization now please note that the oracle primavera p6 it's the application which is designed to support the project management needs of the organizations that manage large number of projects at any point of time now also please note that the ppm provides the comprehensive information on all the projects in the certain organization from the executive level summaries to the detailed plans by project across all levels now please always note that whenever we say ppm during this course that means the project portfolio management now this also suggests that in a certain organization using primavera p6 we can analyze record and communicate project information and we can make timely and well informed decisions that supports our corporate objectives so in a nutshell if we take a look at our portfolio the portfolio would help us to understand the status of the project the portfolio management at every stage no matter at what stage we are the portfolio help us to take better strategic decisions in other words ppm it allows us to determine what projects are needed to continue and what projects may not be necessary for us to continue with and then of course these may be discontinued if needed so this is what the project portfolio management helping us to achieve now please note that we can also analyze all the ongoing projects in the organization i mean the primavera p6 it helps us to take decisions and analyze and determine as to which project has the highest benefits which we call as the return of investment or roi now the primavera p6 it helps us to monitor and control even the little details that are necessary to finish the project on time oracle primavera p6 it help us to understand current resource demands that means which resource do we need at what specific stage 
during the project management life cycle. So P6 also help us to set priorities and evaluate long-term staffing requirements. And if required, we can reorganize our projects to fit what we usually refer as the shifting of priorities without compromising the quality of our project deliverables. So till now, the key thing to remember here is that the Oracle Primavera P6 is a portfolio management software or system and it helps us to monitor and control all of our projects in the organization and further it help us to take the better strategic decisions. Okay, so let's take an example of an energy organization called Arba Energy, which is offering its services in the different energy sectors such as hydropower, wind energy, solar and coal. So this means that the Arba Energy investment portfolio consists of the energy projects in the hydro, wind, solar, and coal energy sectors. And when making strategic decisions that if all these energy projects to carry out, which ones are having high benefits or ROI, I mean the return on investments, and which ones to assign more resources into, and which ones to stop. And please remember that we always need to see the bigger picture. And that's why we are dividing or having the grouping of the projects into a portfolio. In short, Primavera P6 can handle many thousands of projects and we can use the analytical capabilities of Primavera P6 to get the information of all the projects and we can perform analysis across the enterprise as needed. And this allows the executive management to understand their business from a broader perspective and take action on that information and prioritize the project task or resources whenever needed. So in a summary, please don't forget that the Primavera P6 is designed to help the organizations to manage their projects in a logical and consistent ways and it help us to make better and intelligent decisions and it allows managements to focus on the best strategies possible. So from this discussion, I'm sure you are aware of the fact now that why Primavera P6 is called the Enterprise Project Portfolio Management System or EPPM. And also what do we mean by the Project Portfolio Management or PPM? The Project Portfolio Management or PPM, it help us to understand the project status monitor and control our projects in the organization regardless of the size or number of the projects. Now let's see further and learn some of the very important functions or topics that we can use to better manage our projects using the Primavera P6. So can you remember and please tell me that what's the Primavera P6? Why do we mainly use the Oracle Primavera? Or what's the core function of the Primavera P6 application? Please always remember and note that the Primavera P6 is the system that is mainly developed for scheduling the projects. Please don't forget that a project is defined as a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product or service or a result. Now, Please always keep this into your mind that every project means different for the different organizations. I mean, you will always have different requirements and entirely different working environment for the different organizations. For example, the projects in the oil and gas will be different as compared to the telecommunication sector. I mean, the end result or the project objective will be different for the different organization types. Similarly, the projects in the health sector will have different objectives and the end results. So please note that we said that although the end product type is different for every project, but also please don't forget that every project will have always some common characteristics as well. I mean, regardless of the project every project type 
you will have the deliverables and the scope. So that means there is a scope of the every project work to meet the requirements of the project objectives or deliverables. And then there are project deliverables at the end of every project and which is the main reason and that's why project is being carried out and for which the customer or sponsor of the project is paying for. So you as a project manager will perform project work and deliver the end product strictly as per agreed guidelines with the customer or sponsor of the project. Now, despite of the scope and deliverables or project and results, please note that the Primavera P6, it also help us to manage the project time and the project scope. I mean, how much time is certain activity is taking when it's starting and when the activity is finishing. Also, what's the cost involved for completing that particular project activity or the work. Next, very important as you know that in order to complete any project work, we always need resources. The Primavera P6 also help to manage the resources, whether they are people, materials that are consumed during the project, and equipment or machinery that is used to carry out the project work. By using Oracle Primavera P6, we can also manage the communication among all the team members of the project. Next, the project documentation can also be managed by using the Primavera if needed. So along with all these, the project risks and project purchases are also managed with the Oracle Primavera P6 as required. From this discussion, as a summary, Please understand that we can easily manage the project scope and time, cost, resources, communications, project risks and purchases as required by our project by using the Oracle Primavera P6. Now let's quickly understand the basic architecture of the Oracle Primavera P6. As you know that Primavera P6 is designed to support lots of users in a certain large organization. It's a true multi-tier system. I mean, if you are working in a multi-user environment and you have a very large organization where you have thousands of users, projects, and hundreds of thousands of project activities to handle every day, then in that case, the Oracle Primavera P6 Enterprise Project Portfolio management system is the solution for you. Now let's understand the basic architecture and please note that we have a database on the back end and that's where all our data are being stored such as the enterprise data and the project data etc. Now do you know the difference between the project data and the enterprise data? Now you please note that the enterprise data can be shared across all the projects in the organization. The examples of enterprise data are OBS, EPS, and resources, etc. Whereas the project data, on the other hand, is project specific only. I mean, project data is available only for the project for which it is created. Now, the example of project data can be work breakdown structure or WBS and activities etc. Okay, so next we have an application server in the middle and that's where the main Oracle Primavera P6 application is running. After that we usually install a web server and that's where users or the client machines are connecting by using their laptops or desktops etc. Now you please note that users can connect through an internet browser client such as Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Firefox, etc. Now you remember that the Primavera P6 Professional can also be used as a client as well. Also please note that the Oracle Primavera P6 Professional can be used in a standalone environment as needed. And for learning purposes, 
that's what we will be using throughout this course and i hope that you are familiar with the basic architecture of oracle primavera p6 now let's understand the project management life cycle concept here please remember that depending on the type and size of the project a project can have several phases and these phases can be grouped in many ways using the different terminologies and methodology one of the widely used and generally accepted categorization is that according to the pmi or project management institute we can have five phases in any project which are initiation planning executing monitoring and control and closing now let's see what is a initiation phase during the initiation phase we decide that whether to go ahead and proceed by finding funding and resources for the particular project next comes the planning phase after the initiation phase the second phase is to creating a scope and creating the schedule also it includes the planning resources done during this planning phase now we have execution phase we normally perform what we have planned during the planning stage or phase i mean performing the work to create the project deliverables or end results next comes the controlling phase now in this phase we ensure that the project progress and making corrective actions as the project progresses now in the last phase which is called closing in this phase we are delivering the project or end results to the end user or the sponsor or the customer and we review lessons learned during the project so we said that every project can have five phases and these phases are initiating planning executing project monitoring and control and project closing okay so in this lesson we have learned lots of important concepts we have learned about the oracle primavera p6 functionality the primavera p6 is mainly used for the project schedule management project monitoring and control purposes p6 is in fact a enterprise project portfolio management system or eppm we can simply refer to this as ppm or project portfolio management also we have learned that the primavera p6 is multi user system that can support thousands of users projects and activities we have also discussed about the core functions of primavera p6 that by using the primavera we can manage any project type or size as needed by using the primavera p6 we can manage the project cost time and resources project documentation project communication project risks and purchases can also be managed using the primavera p6 then we also discuss the primavera p6 basic architecture difference between the project and the enterprise data we know that enterprise data can be shared across all the projects in the organization whereas the project data can be used only for the project for which it is created after we have explained project management life cycle phases in brief we have five project management life cycle phases there and these phases are initiating planning executing controlling and closing okay so great that's the end of this lesson and i hope you have learned many useful concepts here in this lecture and in the next lesson we will discuss some very important concepts related to the primavera p6 thank you for watching and let's meet in the next lesson